Hello folks, NYK31 here, Madden 17, some ultimate team, and working on the power spread. How's it going, you may ask? It's been a bit of a chore. I've kind of streamlined things a little bit. I had too many receivers out there, I think. I wanted to add more muscle, so I'm going to go with two receivers, two tight ends, make sure I have one tight end subbed in the uh, slot at all times. And on defense, you see what I'm working with. I'm going with um, a base nickel defense. And in trying out this uh, scheme, I decided to take it up against um, regular Mutt. Mutt Seasons. I figure that it's a good way to um, test your scheme because you're going up against loaded teams while you have limited resources. So if it can do its thing in that kind of environment, It'll be that much better when you're faced with a uh, more level playing field. And you're going to see in this game what makes, or the challenges I've been having in, you know, running this. Basically, what I, what I want to do is run um, triple option football or double option football with power out of the shotgun. But the problems that you have is that this guy that I'm playing here, he's running 4-3, cover 2, invert every single play, base aligned. And the problem that you're having is that, or that you're going to see, is that it is really difficult, much more difficult than it should be to stretch the defense out horizontally off of such a badly aligned defense. Like here on 3rd and 6, we do get outside. It's hard to get outside. It is hard to stretch the field with pass concepts horizontally. And here, I, that was a bad run stick by me. I didn't trust my guard, and I got um, hit behind the line. So I'm down 3 nothing. And on defense, God, that, that's your read. Jeez. But on defense, um, two horrible reads in a row. I'm basically mixing up um, rushing two, spying two, rushing three, rushing four, rushing five, and oftentimes just going screaming and bringing six. I get a stop there, and that goes back to what I was talking about last video. You saw me take away two rounds with one guy. That time it happens to me. That's going to happen sometimes when you're playing good people. And what in the world is Paul Krause doing? That's why... I hate spending a boatload of cap on deep safety as I get the uh, sack fumble here. And look at Too Tall go. And look at Avril Book. My God. But going back to Paul Krause, there's a seam corner combo being under that side. And the corner route, or the receiver right in the corner, is breaking in his sight. And the guy is sucking toward the middle. It makes no sense. And I had my zones covered to the sideline, or audible to the sideline, because I knew that route combination was coming. That's what the guys like to do when they run out of um, the uh, Cardinals gun close or shotgun uh, snug set. They either run that play action all seams, uh, bench, or that. And I have all gold corners, so I'm just trying to mix up looks here and try to confuse and force late throws. So I haven't th uh, scored an offensive touchdown yet. So I'm gassing him up again with James Bradbury there in the slot. I have... Cliff Avril, Too Tall Jones, and the best pass rusher on the field is James Bradbury. <laughs> the most effective one. And again, same thing. Just crazy. So, I'm in the third quarter now, and I'm opening up throwing here, just trying to find a way to keep him honest with uh, quick passes to the sideline and trying to find a way to get outside. Speed option is kind of meh. I probably should have used more pistol in this game. Like here in the speed option, sometimes... Depending on how their front is aligned, they change who the uh, pitch man designation is, and um, they'll usually alter their blocking, or they'll sometimes alter their blocking accordingly. That time they didn't either. And there he tried to send me again, but I was in cover three. And um, our Bucks slant the three, show two, and Xavier Howard, gold Xavier Howard, makes the pick. He hasn't beaten my gold corners legitimately all game. His two big plays came off of just mindless safety borks. I actually got a keep read there, but the defender was so far wide that I just um, gave it anyway, and Ricky Williams pops through. 
I'm in fourth and eight. I have the post route there open. I'm about to throw it, but the protection just does not quite hold long enough, and we get sack fumbled. So we're back on defense. I'm going to try to keep him out here. I'm going to do a little bit of cross manning here. I haven't done this this all game. He's going to go high point again. What's the deep safety doing? Forces a post right in the middle of the field, and Kraus just allays on it. He goes for two. Doesn't get it. So 19-7. Again, trying to get outside, but it's just so hard to do. Even though he's in a badly aligned defense. I do a little screen pass there. The tight end is locked. to be better blocking. This is what makes Cam fun. Cam is basically... He's Darius Jackson playing quarterback. He's got the elusiveness, trucking, stiff arm, juke moves, carrying of a solid running back at quarterback. His throwing power is not where I like to be. He's at 93, which is... You know, good for our online CFM, but for Mutt, to get by with throwing power, in my opinion, under 94, you have to have a guy who's super precise. you got to have Drew Brees, who's super accurate. And Cam's accuracies aren't to that level. But I dial up inverted veer here. I, I pull inverted veer out maybe once or twice a half because it's either a three-yard loss or it's a touchdown. Because so many people base a line, they tend to be packed in, and with a tight end blocking in the slot receiver spot, if your block's on the point of attack on the line of scrimmage hold, there won't be anyone out there. And you saw that happen there. The problem is the read is just so fast, and even if you do get it right, you can't really trust it all the time, that it makes it hard to run on a consistent basis. So, third and 26 here. Just dying up straight up to Tampa 2 here. Gonna crash the line on an outside stunt. Cliff Avril comes in. A sack fumble would have been really nice there. But we don't get it. So we got a chance to take the lead. I have my choice of outward breaking routes there. Either to the field side from the slot tight end or out of the backfield. I hit the um, back. And we're gonna pound inside zone here. The linebacker, his usual linebacker, bails out of there. And when he bails out of there, no one's else, no one else is there. <laughs> there's, no, there's no other second level. So, 20 to 19, we're going to go for two. going to flip this QB blast. And boom. So, a field goal would tie the game. Gas him up again. These edge boosters are just insane. Insanely powerful. It's, it's absurd. Here, I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring six here and try to jump the first read that I see, or I think he's going to. My defensive tackle gets nano-detected, and my Jalen Ramsey, again, it's the goal Jalen Ramsey, the ultimate freeze one probably knocks that out. But then he steps up and makes a play there. So fourth and five. And I screw up there. Bad user play by me. So second and ten now. Just barely miss getting there. Gonna bring three this time, and that should have ended the game. It goes off of Zavin Howard's and Krause's hands. So that gives him a chance to you know, tie the game up. Overtime. Let's see if I can catch him napping and pop a screen. You know, modest game there. Here I get lucky. I screw this up, and Randy Moss bails me out because he's Randy. Play action, and you watch how this ball floats. Again, if his arm strength is 94 or 95, that gets there, but the ball just hangs, and DRC is able to come off and pick it off. So, um, I'm up against it now. I gotta hold him or get a turnover, do something to get the ball back. And right now, I'm doing neither. He's just inching towards field goal range. But as far as the power spread is concerned, What's frustrating is that it should work based off of how the, the, his defense is aligned as far as being able to attack the perimeter. But the way the player movement is, there's no real consequence for having your defense misaligned like this. So it makes stretching the field horizontally, either running or passing, really hard. Here's a look at the team again. The personnel is there. It's just a matter of finding a way to make it more efficient, or as efficient as I can. But I'm not quite sure what more I can try, except for possibly using more pistol triple option. So I'm going to try that, and integrate more of that into the um, offense, and see how that goes. 
Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you all later. Peace.